Hey y'all, welcome to Art of the Budget. My name is Nicole, my pronouns are she and her, and I live in the Pacific Northwest on the traditional unceded territory of the Coast Salish nations. Today, I am showing you a video of my grocery haul prep, what I ate and what I didn't eat and I put in the freezer for the first week of January. This isn't really a challenge, it's more just recording what I'm doing. Um, I set myself the task in January to try a few different methods of meal prepping, which I already do, uh, but with the goal of making my meal prep more economical and more efficient, um, while at the same time being like super delicious and satisfying and leaving me like not wanting for anything. So. Uh, that's what I'm going to show you. Full disclosure, the first week of January was the busiest week for me, basically since the pandemic started. So I wasn't really good about documenting my meals. So some of those images are going to be a little lacking, but I'm hoping that'll still uh, express what my week was like. And I promise to do better in week two. Um, I'm going to do this every week of January. So if you have any ideas, including challenges, let me know down below. Um, maybe I will do something that's suggested in the comments. In this video, I'm gonna show you, one, my plan, two, what I pull from my pantry, three, my grocery haul, uh, four, what I make, and then five, what I don't finish and or made extra of and or made but didn't use. So anyway, I put in the freezer. Going into the week, I had a couple things in mind. I wanted to make Berea. I was influenced by TikTok to make Berea tacos. Um, I wanted to make chicken adobo. My friend Sam made it recently, and I've just kind of had it on my list of things to make, so I decided to make that. And I also wanted to make sandwiches. I was just in a sandwich mood. So that was my general plan going in. Finally, real quick, I'm going to share a tip that I have for shopping the grocery store sales. This is not by any means groundbreaking at all. There are people who are, you know, masters at this. This is just my little trick that I use for my brain, which basically tends to be really lazy about this stuff, to try to get pretty good prices at the grocery store when it's convenient. Um, okay, so on, I guess, like Tuesday, um, this stuff comes in my mailbox and... I realize that some people just do this online, um, but I'm just like not that kind of person. I'm just never gonna do that. But when it comes in my mailbox, I grab the ones for the grocery stores I go to and I flip through and I am recording on my phone, so I can't really show you, but we'll just pretend. Um, but while I'm flipping through, I take a picture of the part that says which store it is. And then I take a picture of any deals that I think are cool. So like this $5.99 a pound shrimp, as we all know, I'm obsessed with having shrimp in the freezer. So I'll take a little picture of that. Uh, Honeycrisp apples organic are $1.77 a pound. So I'll take a picture of that. I'll just go through really quick, see what catches my eye. There are certain things that I'm you know, usually looking for, like, oh, Almond uh, Breeze is $1.79 with a card for a half gallon. So I'll definitely, you know, take a picture of that. That's something I might want to stack up on. And then after I've done that, it's in my head. If I want to check, I can flip back through my pictures on my phone. And that is how I start deciding like what I'm going to cook based on what's on sale. This is my week one grocery haul. I spent $73.87 at Fred Meyer. I already had the proteins I needed for my recipes this week, um, but shrimp was on sale for $11.98 for a two pound bag, so I got two. These are a staple for me. I love having them in the freezer, and I will use them later in the month. I also got a half a pound of sliced boar's head turkey because I've just been in kind of a sandwich mood lately. I got a pound of tofu, some of this artisan lettuce, Honestly, I don't love this container, but um, the lettuce is really good. And because there's not like those like scrappy outside leaves, I feel like you actually get more bang for your buck. Got some broccoli. That's just a nice thing to have on hand. A couple of avocados. Um, I got a bunch of garlic, uh, honey crisp apples. 
I got some Roma tomatoes, um, some carrots, some limes, some kiwis. Red, yellow, and orange peppers are my favorite food. I will probably eat almost all of these raw because I just am obsessed with them. I must need some beta carotene or something. I got cilantro, two uh, pomegranates. These were in really good condition. A lot of times pomegranates are kind of like wilty and gross, <laughs> but these were in really good condition. They were two for six dollars. They're not the cheapest fruit, but three dollars each was pretty good, I thought. I got a pineapple. I've just been craving pineapple. I would consider myself actually not a pineapple person, but I've just been in the mood, so I always, I think our bodies are smart, and if you're really craving something, there might be a reason. And then these were on super sale, so I just grabbed a bag of oranges and a bundle of spinach. While I was there, I also picked up some shampoo and uh, some soap. My refrigerator, um, this is a pack of chicken breast. I took that out. This is two packs of chicken thighs. That's going to be for the chicken adobo. I've got tortillas here for the burrilla. And I've got some flour tortillas for like whatever. This is a ham. It's from my pig that I got this summer. And so that's what I pulled from the freezer and whatnot. For this week. Okay, this is the part of the video where I tell you some of the things I made with my grocery haul. Um, today I am at work. No one else is here, but I'm here prepping to get students' materials ready. That's what that looks like right there. And I had to actually go pick up clay today, so I packed a to-go lunch. I actually made two of these wrap sandwiches, but I ate one in the car around like noon, which is proper lunchtime. Uh, for my schedule today. But anyway, I've got my tortillas, some of the lettuce I bought. This one has slices of apples, the cracked pepper turkey, um, some leftover from New Year's Eve, fancy cheese, and um, it's really delicious, really simple, easy to eat on the go. It's been a while since I've had to make it to go lunch. Um, and I'll show you what I eat from this round next. In addition to my sandwiches, I also had peppers and pineapple and it was really good. These two spaghetti squashes were from a CSA months ago so I decided to just cook them up and see how they were. It turns out they were delicious. I love spaghetti squash. Highly recommend. These burrito tacos were amazing. Um, please make this recipe. It was so good. I made a focaccia. This I shared with a friend. I have still some in the fridge and I ate that sna as snacks. These hamburger buns all went in the freezer. Maybe I'll use them later this month. I baked two loaves of bread. One's in the fridge, one is in the freezer. This was amazing. It's burrilla meat on top of a spaghetti squash. Uh. Lunch, I've got sliced up peppers of all the colors, some pineapple, which like it's so delicious. This is uh, chicken adobo and rice. It's not that beautiful. I'm gonna put in my beautiful picture that I took when I ate it for dinner last night. The picture is not as beautiful as I remember it, but it was a really delicious meal and I crisped up the skin and put a chip of it on top. Is a breakfast. This is my typical bread that I baked. Cheese, egg, hot sauce. There's also spike and paprika and then I had some cut up pineapple, so I'm eating that as well, and I've got coffee. Friday night, my downstairs neighbor and germ pod mate made potatoes and meatloaf, and I made this beautiful salad with my lettuce. Good morning. It is Saturday morning, the last day of the week. I am uh, hungry. I have not eaten breakfast yet, and it's 1244, which you all know I'm a breakfast person, so that's real weird. Um, I'm going to just make lunch and I'm going to use up a bunch of leftover food and make a quick stir fry. I've got rice and I have burrilla meat that I need to use and I have some veggies, random veggies, including a whole bunch of spinach that I need to use up. So I'm going to cook that all up right now and make lunch. I've got some red onion, some peppers got the burrilla meat and some rice. I don't think I need to open that. This whole head of spinach and cilantro.
Here's my pretty lunch. Excited to dig in. Putting in the freezer. Those are actually all Christmas cookies from my parents. Um, but this is all stuff that I made this week that I'm putting in the freezer. So this is a jar of beans. Another jar of beans. This is um, actually some pork fat from the roast I made into Berea. I don't know if I will just end up composting that, but for right now I'm going to hold on to it and see if I can find something to do with it. This is a loaf of bread. This is chicken adobo. There's, my, there's Junior. Um, these are rolls, sourdough hamburger buns. And I didn't make this, but I bought it this week. I bought two bags of shrimp, and I'm putting one downstairs in the freezer.